hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking to you about condensation, polymerization and working you through a few examples. When we are talking about condensation reactions, we are talking about two monomers that have different functional groups. And when these monomers um, react together, they form a polymer and a small molecule is released. Now, this small molecule is quite often, but not always, water. In some circumstances, we're going to get other small molecules like hydrochloric acid released. When we are talking about polyesters, we are talking about combining a dicarboxylic acid and a diol. Here we have a carboxylic acid. Now we have just one functional group over here and this is but and because it's got four carbons, butanoic acid. Same thing but here we have two carboxylic acid groups. We have one on this end and we have one on this end. So this is butan one for dioic acid. It is a dicarboxylic acid. Here we have an alcohol. We have three carbons and our functional group on the end here. So this is a propanol. If we're talking about a diol, we have one, two alkyl groups. So this is propan one, three dial. Now when we have um, our carboxylic acid group and our alcohol group coming together they this bit here is the bit we're interested in and it is going to form an ester linkage. We are also going to lose water in this reaction. Another thing that can be used to make a um, polyester is a hydroxycarboxylic acid. Here you can see we have our carboxylic acid group and we have our alcohol group. So this is ethanoic acid with an alcohol group which is now hydroxyethanoic acid. So when we're talking about terylene, the two um, monomers are ethan 1,2-diol, 1,2-diol, and benzan 1,4-dioic acid. So here we have benzene with our two carboxylic acid groups on. When we make the ester linkage, this bit here combines, so here is our ester linkage and this whole thing here is one repeating unit of um, our polymer. You can see I've done it in square brackets, I've got a little n at the end and I've got my nice straight lines, my straight arms coming outside clearly indicating what it is bonding to. Now be careful, the temptation would be for you to draw like another oxygen on the end here but we've already got that oxygen over here. Do not draw too much when you are drawing your condensation polymers. If we're talking about polylactic acid, the monomer is 2-hydroxypropanoic acid. And this is how most people are going to draw it out. But you'll make your life a lot easier if you draw it. So you've got one functional group this end and one functional group this end. Because then you can draw your um, polymer in a straight line, which is just going to look a lot better. So here is our repeating unit. You can see that we've um, lost hydrogen here, we've lost hydroxo group here. We have our square brackets, our straight arms, our little n out the end here. When we're looking at nylon, here we have 1,6-diaminohexane, so we have our amino groups on either end and then our carboxylic acid groups on either end. When they polymerize, we are going to get our amide group formed in the middle here and you need to be really really careful again about what we are putting on the ends. Kevlar, now um, this is one that has benzene groups in it but you can see we still have the amine groups and we still have the carboxylic acid groups. 
And when we form one polymer from this, you can see we have our amide group in the middle here, and then um, our carbon double bonded oxygen here, and our nitrogen bonded to the hydrogen down here. So the tricky part in these sort of questions are making sure that you draw the repeating unit correctly, or identifying the correct repeating unit.